Me and Rivy, we're loading up. We're about to go get a new mower, and uh, he's pretty excited about that, so let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to go pick up a new mower right now, and we're just fueling up some gas. We got my dad's 12 foot trailer, and they're gonna come with us. So, to uh, get the mower, they wanted to come with us. So, I'm like, hey, we'll just ride with him. So, my mom's with us, and we're here we got Rivy and everybody inside the Tahoe. So, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Guys, we're pulling up here at a little um, mower store. So, let's see what we uh, get into here. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. So, let's get out. Take a quick look. Because y'all don't even know what mower I'm buying. I don't either. I'll just have to pick it out just on a whim here. Alright guys. I wanted to show y'all the new mower. Which is it right here. <laughs> See it's got the... Welded deck. Got the aluminum foil deck. This is going to uh, take my business to the next level over here. <laughs> Look at Think that. It. Man. Uh, so, let's go look at some more. I don't know, guys. This one right here. Looks looks pretty pretty tempting. So let's go inside and see what we can get into. Show them what price would pay for it. See, that was the price right there. Um, the total price. So, pretty excited about it. And uh, it's going to be a good mower. I got to get the suspension seat. That's one thing. I got to do that. And uh, it's going to be a good little mower for me. It'll be good for the next few years. And I'm um, going to make a lot of money with it. So, thank you all for watching. All right, guys, me and Dad are up at Home Depot. We already picked up my other mower. And so uh, we're just here just for fun. And look at this little Aaron's icon. It doesn't have the price on it, but yeah, for someone that's like a homeowner or something, this would be great. And see, Dad, it has this thing where you, you yeah. push the deck and you just turn this right here. Yeah. So I got to go in here and get some sockets for my impact wrench, some like deep sockets. So. Um, that's what we're doing and so uh, they got some other Toros too so mm. I like it I like it yeah I'd go with the, the errands though better alright guys um, so to end up end off this video about the new mower um it's the snapper pro i wanted to compare like some of the dimensions you know to both the mowers um you know this one's only probably it's even it's back a little bit more than the skag so it's probably only about th three or four inches it looks like longer than the skag so it's still very compact um like I said, only three, four inches longer. Um, just washed up my little skag a little bit. Scrub a dub dub, scrub a dub dub. And it's, I don't know how it does that in the mowers, but like, 
like that stuff gets sandblasted on there. I use simple green and I scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and finally it gets semi good. I'm not trying to make it 100% perfect because I'm about to go out and mow with it, you know, tomorrow next day. So, but anyway, let's compare some of the dimensions or, you know, to this. Um, this one's only a hundred and the new mower's only like 110 pounds heavier than the Liberty and the Liberty is super light. You can just pick it up in the front or even the back. Um, and so this Snap Pro is very light, very, very light. I love this mower. I think for what you get, um, I think this is one of those mowers that's overlooked. Um, I just, I really do. I think the Snapper Pro brand is one that's just overlooked because the, the, what you get for the price you're getting is amazing. I got the 600 V engine, which is fully commercial, eight gallons of fuel, you know, dual fuel tanks, um, one thing that I think is a little weird is like your throttle and your choke is over here and then your blades and your key is over there. So you got to like reach over here and like choke it and then reach over there and turn it on. You know how like on this mower, you know, like it's all together and that makes more sense. So there's a couple weird little things like that. Um, actually, that might be the only weird little thing. You know, this is pretty standard. You push it down, pull this back, and it you know lowers it. There's your park and brake. Um, the speed of the mowers, uh, we uh, these are when I bought it. They said that the guy told me that these were back, you know, a little bit farther than they had to be. So I moved them forward a little bit more to get a little bit of extra speed. But these right now are running like the exact speed, um, which is which is. Um, it's good. I mean, that one's that one's pretty fast. Not as fast as neither one of these are as fast as my old Ferris was, but um, I'm thinking still seven eight miles an hour. Um, it's still very fast. So, and both of them now that I got this adjusted. It's weird that these go the exact same speed, although the uh, the hydros you know are heavier duty on this one. You know, they'll probably last longer, better engine, better hydros. Um, more sturdy frame more sturdy deck um you know that one will cut just as good but more sturdy deck uh you know it has the icd deck of course you know the better engine better hydros holds more gas um you know so they're kind of you know similar weight and stuff um let's look at them from the back and i'll let you guys go but so there's the back of that one you see these wheels are a little closer together and these are more far apart this one definitely is more responsive the snapper is more responsive you know like the liberty when you go it kind of like you know it just kind of has more gradual but this one when you press you know when you go i mean it's it's snappy you know so that's kind of cool as well also i think the blade speed is definitely better on this as well i mean it it's blowing air you know out like this far out of that thing so great mower great mower snapper pro i'm excited about it of course you know i don't have any hours on it but i kind of know what to expect since i had my fares for many many years it's the same company owned by briggs and stratton whatever so i really thank you guys for watching my video and uh new videos every wednesday and saturday so y'all stay tuned thank you